Red Sharks IBC coverage is brought to you by Matrox, Simply, and VizRT. Hi, this is Dan Maloney, Wayne Andrews, IBC 2022 with the Matrox booth, and we're going to talk to you about remote production. We introduced the Monarch Edge about three years ago uh, as a purpose-built Remy encoder and decoder solution. Multi-channel, synchronized, 422 10-bit encoding, very low latency, um, both on the four-channel encode and the decode. We have a single-channel, bi-directional encoder as well to help for uh, remote um, contributions from single you know, camera sources. And the decoder can be used for, um, for return feed viewing. Now, again, this is about, uh, we haven't been to IBC for a couple of years. This is the first introduction of the S1, but it's been out for, for over a year and a half now. Uh, and I'm going to ask Wayne to tell us a little bit more about the uh, new features that we're showcasing at, at the show uh, today. Okay, so one of the primary features of our 2.02 release is our new SRT statistic page, which is really helpful for our users when they uh, start before they start doing their uh, Remy productions, they can test their network and get the, the bandwidth, the overall bandwidth, the link, in the, our round trip, uh, round trip time for latency, or point to point latency, um, to ensure smoother broadcasts. We offer now in 2.02 the ability to continue streaming on loss of input, so if the camera battery has gone dead, the stream will continue until you replace the battery and then the the image will pick back up. Um, other features like reboot within the UI, because some viewers may, may not know that now we have a web-based UI called Command Center built into it. And you know, we like you mentioned Tally and Talkback and Genlock. I mean, those have always been really differentiating our products. Yeah. Tally, Talkback, Talkback, again, purpose-built encoder, yeah. not just about the contribution feeds that we're doing. Um, you became friends with uh, with another company here, and we became such good friends. We decided, to, yeah, decided to invite them to come over and showcase their solution. So, what? Are they, how do we make use of these guys? Well, they they are the SRT routing cloud in uh, in, in 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 the domain or the cloud domain right now. Uh, we partnered with them, and the new features that they've added at uh, IBC are edge transcoding. So if you come up in like a, in SRT, let's say, but you're in variable bit rate, they can turn it into constant bit rate, or to, and it can then send it out to multiple destinations at different frame rates and frame sizes and bit rates, all you know, user defined in the UI. You, what else do you think they bring well, to the I table? Knew, I knew that uh, you know, a row production, you have to take the content from the field bring into the studio and you can use the SRT cloud by Global Album to, to do that. Yeah. Uh, but then once it's produced, you got to get it to the rights holders and I understand Global M can do that just as well. So you reuse that those encoders. For your distribution. To distribute it to the rights holders. And I know that I saw the demo before. Global M's got something you can monitor from every single point in the in their full cloud no matter where you are in the in the in the uh, in the world. So we know that a combination of our hardware and good software partners. And they also give you cloud statistics while it's a running, right? Single dashboard to be able to view all of your destination points and know where the problem occurs. So we make great hardware with partners like Global M. We think the Remy solution we have is... Well, it's a perfect pair. So we have statistics on the beginning, they got statistics on the, the end, and then you get the statistic back down. So you're covered all from point A to point B. So you want remote production, or well, you should come and see us, or get some information, matrox.com. Or slash at, video. Slash video. Slash and video. At Matrox Video for Twitter and um, LinkedIn. Thanks a lot for uh, for listening in.